Hello friends, Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional on this Monday. And today I wanted to ask a question sometimes people struggle with. Sometimes people think, if Christians can still sin, and none of us is perfect, then what's really the difference between a Christian and a non-Christian? In terms of, at least in our behavior. Is it just a difference in degree? If Christians can sometimes do sinful things, and if non-Christians can sometimes do good things, then is it just that Christians do good things more often? Or is there no difference between the two in their behavior? I think there is a difference. And it's more than just a, a quantity difference. It's a qualitative difference. And here's the thing. Romans 8, 5 says this. Those who live according to the flesh have their minds set on what the flesh desires. But those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on what the Spirit desires. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the Spirit is life and peace. The mind governed by the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law, nor can it do so. Those who are in the realm of the flesh cannot please God. He said, when you give your life to Christ, if you're a follower of Christ, then you have set your mind on what the Spirit desires. You have decided, I'm done with sin. I want to do what God wants me to do. I want to be the person God wants me to be. We may not always live up to that, to our shame. We may not. But we still have a different desire. Here's the way I look at it. Here's the illustration I think of. Years ago, Tim Solomon and I were working for a friend to be trained on how to run a small yacht. And we took it out of uh, Tampa Bay. We took it out of Sarasota Bay and took a trip down the coast of Florida on it. And once we got out into the open water, we just set a course and told the autopilot, stay on this course. And you could just sit in the captain's chair and just let the boat do all of the steering. And all the waves and everything, it would still stay straight on that course. But there were a couple times where you had to dodge a crab trap or a sign in the water or something. And so you take the wheel and you just turn and the boat would turn, but it resisted. You could tell that the autopilot was saying, wait a minute, I need to get back on course. And so the wheel was resisting your turn, but you could still turn. It was designed that way. Then when you let it go, it would go back to the same course. I think that's the way it is in our Christian life. Our life is set on what the Spirit desires. There are times when we fail in that. And temptation gets the best of us and we do the wrong thing and we get off course. But for the Christian, when we get off course from what the Spirit desires, there's something in us that resists that. We have a new will inside of us that is not okay with that. Now, for those who are without Christ, their mind is set on the flesh. And occasionally they may get off course from that too. They can, by force of their will, say, I'm going to do the right thing. And they may even do self-sacrificial things that are a blessing to other people. And that's wonderful that they can do that. But when they take their hands off the wheel, when they just go with what's natural, then they're not going to go on the path that God has for them. So basically, it's just that when you give your life to Christ, your mind is set on a different course. And, and even though you may deviate from that, there's something in you that is not okay with that. And so there's no peace in that. You can't continue to sin and be at peace if Christ is living in you. The thing is, even without Christ, you can't sin and have peace because something inside of you still says there's something wrong. But when you give your life to Christ, you have him as well. His spirit is telling you, you can't continue to do this. And so, if we if we follow Christ, we can have peace because we can just say, God, I'm going to go with you. 
And as long as we do that, we have life, we have peace. So let's pray. Father, I pray that our minds are truly set on you. I pray, Father, that you would reveal to us if there's anything in us that needs to change to be more in your will. Guide us and direct us in everything. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I love you all. Take care and have a good rest of the week. God bless.